Today we are going to learn how we can secure our Wi-Fi router and protect our home network on this episode of Cybertrix. Your router is perhaps the most important device in your home network. So it is important to keep your home router secure. But when it comes to network security, we do so careless and do not give any attention towards it. Most of us still use the router's default username and password that is admin and admin or admin and password which is probably the easiest way to stick into your network due to the carelessness we become so vulnerable to get hacked now i will show you some router setting which you need to change right now so we can keep our home network more secure before to that if you guys are more concerned about the security of your home network then firewall is the best choice for you if you don't know what is firewall then it is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and decides whether to allow or block specific traffic based on a defined set of security rules. A firewall can be a hardware, software or both. It is the first line of defense in network security which we can keep or which we can connect before or after our home router. In Windows and in other device, firewall is built into the operating system which is the software version of firewall. Like this, we can have similar capabilities built into our home router. Log in to your router setting page or configuration page on your web browser. To enable firewall in our home router, go to the security setting which you can find at the left side of your screen below the forwarding. Click on it. Enable the SPI firewall. Click on enable. SPI stands for Stateful Packet Inspection. It inspects the network packet and determines the validity according to the protocol. If you keep it disabled, then all the devices on the network or on the LAN will expose to the outside world. So you will be more vulnerable for being attacked. After enabling it, click on save button and save it. Second setting you should change right now is your router's default username and password. To change it, go to the system tools, click on password. Here you should give your old username and old password that is admin and admin or admin and password. Uh, give your new username and while choosing a new password, please don't use simple plain text. Come up with a strong password. After you finished it, click on save button and save it. Third setting which you need to look at is your router's wireless security. Go to the wireless and click on wireless security in WPS slash WPA2 personal always choose the latest version WPA2 the main thing you should be careful here is while choosing a wireless password I will tell you again please don't use simple plain text in your password always use strong password we do so careless while choosing a password we know that our password is not strong enough but still we don't care about it Another simple thing for us but a good source of information for hacker is your device SSID. Don't use your device name as your SSID. Otherwise they can easily discover your device and search for the vulnerability with that advantage they can easily attack you. At number 4 we have firmware. Firmware is a set of instruction programmed on a hardware device. It provides the necessary instruction for how the device communicate with the other computer hardware. So upgrade if it is available. But please be careful while you upgrade it. Before you upgrade, please take a look at here and give some time to read it. Otherwise you could damage your device. The firmware version must correspond to the hardware. To check the current firmware version and hardware version, you can find here at status here. So to download a most recent firmware upgrade file, go to this link over here. Search for firmware and click enter go to download center here give your device type and your device model number if you don't know your device model number you can find it at the back side of your device another simple way to find your device model number is look at your um, tab name of your router setting page over here you can also search your specific router from this list also after you find your router, click on it. Please be careful while choosing your device hardware version. In order to find your device hardware version, go back to your router setting page. Click on status. In hardware version, 
you can see something like this b12 uh, b12 b13 b14 something like that in my case it's version 12 come back to the download center page and give your hardware version in my case it's b12 click on uh, firmware before you download please uh, take a look at here and give some time to read it to download just click on this link make sure that the current firmware version in your device is the latest version or not to know that just compare this build number with the firmware you just downloaded here if it is similar that means your firmware version is the latest version so you don't need to upgrade it if your firmware version is not the latest one upload that downloaded file over here choose this file open it and click on upgrade after you upgrade it your firmware version will be up to date at number five we have upnp also known as universal plug and play which is designed to make it easier for devices like game consoles for example xbox and apps like utorrent UPnP is a set of networking protocols that permits network devices such as personal computer, printers, Wi-Fi access point, and mobile device to seamlessly discover each other's presence on the network. UPnP was only supposed to work on a local area network (LAN), but router manufacturers enable it by default for a wide area network (WAN). This allows a hacker anywhere in the world to open a private connection to a router. Enabling UPnP won't suddenly expose you to the internet, but if you want to be as safe as possible, disable it. At number 6, we have Guest Network. If this setting is available in your router, then just enable it. Don't give anyone expect your family members to access to your private home network. If your relatives want to access your internet, give them access to your Guest Network. Enable Guest Network by checking this box. Provide the SSID for your guest network so that you can identify it and also provide the strong password for your guest network. You can also control the bandwidth for your guest network. Just enable guest network bandwidth control over here. Important thing, don't allow guests to access your local network. Just leave this box unchecked. You can define the access time for those users who are connected to your guest network. I'll change this option according to your need. After you set up all, click on save button. Now you can give access to guest network if anyone wants to connect to your internet. At number 7, we have dust protection. Go to the security. Uh, click on advanced security where you can find this option. Actually, uh, dust attacks are cyber attacks that prevent users to access the network services and resources, usually by flooding the target with large amount of fake traffic. If someone does attack your network, then typical symptoms include unusually slow network performance, unavailability to open a particular website, inability to access websites, unusual increase in the number of spam emails. If you find these symptoms in your network, then you may be a victim of a DOS attack. To prevent from DOS attack, you have to enable the DOS protection. With enabling DOS protection, it will let you to play with these other options. To let uh, DOS protection function well, we have to enable uh, these three attack filtering methods ICMP flood, uh, UDP flood, and TCP flood. While you enable this option, we have to provide the uh, threshold value for each methods. If you guys are not sure about how much value you should put, then leave it default. Suppose if you put the threshold value of 30 in ICMP flood attack filtering, so when attacker attacks your network by using ICMP flood attacks and use the ICMP packets below 30, then your router will unable to stop those traffic. In case if you think of reducing that uh, threshold value even lower than 30, then there will be other problem that some device in your network may not able to use the network services and will be added to the blockade DOS host list because that device can cross that threshold value easily without even having any harmful internet activity or behavior. So you have to keep monitor the network activity of all devices in your network and you have to delete that device from the blockade DOS host list to let that device to use internet access again. These two remaining options at last, just check these boxes. We don't want anyone from outside to ping our router. Basically we use ping to troubleshoot the network problem. In case if you have to use a ping. 
to troubleshoot your network you can come here and uncheck them anytime otherwise just check these boxes in case if your router setting has these two options post forwarding and remote management then just disable both of them we don't need that now you can close the router setting page after implementing these settings your network become very less vulnerable to get hacked hacker won't come straight and hacks your home network they keep waiting and searching for those uh, devices with vulnerability in the internet and then attack those devices so guys if you like this video just give a thumb up and support me by clicking on that subscribe button and always thanks for watching